all around the world, natural disasters induced by climate change pose a significant risk not only to people and environment, but also to our cultural heritage. Protect to Save was initiated in order to strengthen the resilience of cultural heritage in a changing environment. Major objectives are to identify the risk prone areas in Central Europe to flood, heavy rain and fire due to drought period, to identify which are the criticalities of cultural heritage and finally to implement at local level the risk management plans in order to have specific measures to cultural heritage safeguarding. Cultural heritage protection covers the protection of immovable cultural heritage as well as the protection of movable cultural heritage. Protect to Safe developed a number of tools which aim to enhance risk assessment and to enable preventive measures and early actions and cultural heritage protection in the case of natural disasters, be it flood, heavy rainfall or fire due to drought. The Protect to Safe web GIS tools identify the risk areas and vulnerabilities of cultural heritage in Central Europe. The Protect to Safe Decision Support Tool provides local heritage managers with information on the adequate maintenance of their cultural assets in different scenarios. The Protect to Safe Manual for owners of cultural heritage provides specific recommendations for the everyday maintenance of cultural heritage and for crisis situations due to climate change and natural disasters. So owners and managers of uh, cultural heritage properties represent uh, the first line of defense um, in terms of uh, protection against uh, climate change induced uh, actions and natural disasters. Suddenly occurring hazards challenge emergency responders when it comes to protecting and recovering cultural heritage during the immediate phases of disaster response. Preparedness is mandatory for ensuring successful interventions. But how can emergency responders prepare for crisis situations affecting cultural heritage? And why is it so important to cooperate and train together with cultural heritage experts and the owners and curators of movable and immovable cultural heritage? We must prepare that it will be very short time to save the objects of the cultural heritage. So if you have a plan, a map where the most important objects are, the firefighters uh, could spend less time to find these items and it is a great chance to save them intact. So we must make a plan where the objects are, maybe categorize them, what is the most important object, less important, which is the most fragile, which, which should be saved first, which object is too heavy to be saved, and something like that. During the course of the project, each partner country developed tailored preparedness measures for protecting the cultural heritage of their national pallet site. They organized an exercise at the pilot site and tested the developed measures. The more people are aware of preparedness measures for cultural heritage protection, the better it is. In order to foster this awareness, the Protect to Safe video game Rutava Rising includes tools and strategies developed in the project and targets the broad public. The scenario is set in Prague, which is predicted to be flooded in the next 72 hours. The player has to coordinate a cultural heritage rescue team and to protect as many cultural assets as possible from destruction due to the flooding of the Vultava River. Protect to Safe aims at protecting and saving our cultural heritage for ourselves and the future generations. The project's efforts will continue in the follow-up project Strench and stay available for you, online and for free.